Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a song and a Bible reading for this beautiful, clear, bird-chirping Saturday morning. It's a wonderful day. I was up early with Ira to take him to the airport in Tulsa. He's flying off to Idaho again for a couple of weeks, so we wish him well, a good trip, and I guess whenever he gets back, we'll enjoy him when he's home. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, to wait. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, to They that wait upon the Lord. And I'm, I know for myself I can do that more and more. And I'm sure we're all in the same boat because we need more strength. We need to be renewed in our strength. Not only our physical strength, but our spiritual strength, our hearts assured in faith towards Him. Amen. So we are moving along in Acts. Now we're in chapter 3. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you, Lord, for your word. Lord, just bless it as we read it. Lord, let it just um, find some connection in our spirits and let it ring true in our hearts and then guide us in the way we ought to go. Thank you for each one listening today. I pray that you would anoint each ear. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, Acts chapter 3. Thank you all for your likes on Anna's picture last night. She did a great job singing, leaving on a jet plane in front of the whole school and didn't miss a beat. And uh, if you want to hear the whole song, you got to go to AmundsenFamilyMusic.com and push on the blue VIP button and you can hear, as well as other stuff that we're putting on. All right, enough of that. Chapter 3, verse 1. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked an alms. And Peter, fastening his eyes on him with John, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he, leaping up, stood and walked, and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. And all the people saw him walking and praising God, and they knew that it was he which sat at alms, at the gate beautiful of the temple, at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened unto him. And as the lame man, which was healed, held Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch, that is called Solomon's, greatly wondering. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us? 
as though by our own power or holiness we has made this man to walk. The God of Abraham and of Isaac and Jacob, the God of our fathers, hath glorified his son Jesus, whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate, when he was determined to let him go. But ye denied the Holy One and the just, and desired a murderer to be granted unto you, and killed the Prince of Life, whom God hath raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. And his name, through faith in his name, hath made this man strong, whom ye see and know, yea, the faith which is by him, hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. And now, brethren, I wot that you that through ignorance ye did it, as did also your rulers. But those things which God hath shown by the mouth of all his prophets, that Christ should suffer, he hath so fulfilled. 19. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which was before preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me. Him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear the prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Unto you first God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you, in turning away every one of you from your iniquities. Wonderful. What a powerful message brought by Peter, who not too long before had denied the Lord Jesus Christ, saying he would go to die with him. Well, the Holy Spirit got a hold of him, and in the same way, we need that Holy Spirit to spread across the church. Isn't that something? You know, Peter, he followed Jesus day by day. He believed. He believed what he said. He believed who he was. But until the Holy Spirit was able to grab a hold of him and take control of that man and turn him inside out, then that's when the real work started. And Jesus knew that. He said, I tell you the truth, I have to go away. It's expedient for me that I go away, that the Lord may send the Comforter, the Guide, the Holy Spirit. And so we need His help day by day. We need to be empowered by Him. So I hope today is a day when we can acknowledge the Lord's work in our life. Every moment, have him lead us and be confident that he will lead us because that was his promise. Amen? All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Anna's got another soccer game. We got chores and things to do around the farm that we need to get to, especially since it's such a nice day out. But I hope that um, you'll have a, a lovely day. And thank you again for all the support you're giving us on Facebook and YouTube. Go sign up to our VIP page. We would love that. Um, in the next week or so, there's going to be a real special hmm, thing that we're going to be offering our VIP people for free. And I think you're going to want to be a part of that. So... Sign up for our VIP page. You'll get to hear and see lots of things that no one else gets to see and hear. And I think we would, I think you'd be 
blessed by it, and we definitely would be blessed for your support. All right. You all have a wonderful day.